I'm not even sure if I do a very good job at listening to that guidance. Sometimes I find myself by chance in just the right situation, despite my efforts to avoid it. And sometimes I do feel like I'm effectively listening to my guidance, listening to like, yeah, which choice makes me feel alive? Or which, what do I secretly want to do? That's a, that's a useful question to access the guidance. I think the guidance is, for me, I, I access it through questions like that. What, what do I secretly want? What do I, would I dare do if I weren't afraid of this, this, and this? If I weren't afraid of what people would think? If I weren't afraid of, of what might happen? So then to bring that into awareness without like the pressure, okay, so you're gonna have to do it even though you're afraid that this is gonna happen, but you have to do it. No, no, no. It's to trust that bringing the knowledge of what you are guided to do into awareness will change you into a person who will choose to follow that guidance. It's not about forcing yourself or bullying yourself or bribing yourself into following the guidance. It's to bring it into awareness, to bring maybe your readiness to take that risk or to make that choice into awareness and to trust that that's enough. Like I, I see that I am ready and I trust. And from there action unfolds. Or maybe I see that I'm not ready and I see that I'm scared. And here's what I'm scared of. Okay, good to know that. Yeah, here's my guidance and I'm not listening to it. It's okay, you're not gonna get an F 